Off to Stonebridge, I hear? Before you depart, I have something I would discuss with you, if you're willing. The Lascanzi occupation depleted the town's stores. If we cannot replenish them soon, Raven's Rill may not survive the winter. I know the Legion has done a great deal for us already, but I fear I must ask your help again. I take it you have a plan? Indeed. Raven's Rill sees few travelers these days, but I believe the hero's crypt could draw pilgrims from across Ebb as it once did. With pilgrims would come merchants, and the town could fill its larders before the winter. What do you need me for, then? The doors of the monument are sealed by Legion magic. They are impervious to any form of counter magic or physical destruction. They can only be opened by the signet rings of the Legion families who commissioned its construction. The Montbarons and the Gundricks. I understand you've already found Montbaron's signet ring. If you can locate Lord Gundrick's ring, you'll be able to open the crypt. All right. I'll do what I can. The ring must be somewhere inside Gundrick Manor. Everyone knows that place is haunted by something foul. Tread its halls with caution. I've business back in town. Find me there when you've acquired the ring. into a swamp. There you are. This may sound strange, but I was told to wait for you here. Told? By whom? A child. A boy with golden hair and piercing eyes. 
who spoke like no child I have ever met. Did you follow us into the Mornweald? No. He came to me in a waking dream. I know better than to doubt a vision, especially one so clear. My father was Hugh Montbaron, Grand Master of the Legion. A proud man, I'm told, but not immune to my mother's seduction. Hang on, what? Are you telling me that you're my sister? My sister and a witch? Ah, you are the Montbaron boy, yes? Of course. You have the same lustrous hair, and even prettier than mine. Pretty hair? You think so? Wait, sorry, I'm still back on the sister part. I do not know why this golden child chose me, but I believe I can be of help to the Legion, if you let me. Does your sister know that you're planning to leave? Leona's word does not bind me. I decide whose company I keep, and she knows better than to forbid me what I want. If only the rest of the world knew the same, life would be much simpler. In other words, you haven't told her. No. See, little brother, you know me better than you think. Your mother seduced Mont Baron? So the stories about Lascanzi witches are true? What stories are those? The ones told to jealous wives by poxy faced men? Of black hearted witches who ravished them in the dark of night? Those stories are fancies, but they hide a deeper truth. Lescanzi witches have discerning taste. We will seduce a foreign man, but only if he is strong, clever, handsome. He'd pass those traits to your children, and your clan would be stronger. We are a practical race, no? 500 years of wandering has taught us to claim any advantage we can. If you're a Mont Baron, then you're part of the Legion. We could use your help. We journey south, no? To Stonebridge? I know the roads, and charming company makes long miles less dreary. Hold on there. The roads ahead aren't safe. Heavy smoke down there. From the looks of it, there was another battle in the swamp. 
As you like church on one side, royalists on the other. <sighs> They're always at it. I was questioned by soldiers down the road. They were Azunites, Jane Cassinda's men, and not a friendly lot. Thanks for the warning. I'll be careful. I'll stay up here for a while, see if things calm down. I wonder what caused this. In any case, we shall not pass this way, I think. Anyone that kills Azanites is a friend of ours. General Devonsey is further on ahead. Just follow the path. Jane's fanatics have won the day, it seems. Stand away there. Not so close to the general. Never mind. I can hardly be called a general with a Majesty's army lying dead all around us. Sorry, Lord Devonsey. Sir. Forgive the boy. A few months ago he was a royal page. Now he's a soldier. Such are the depths to which we have fallen. I'm surprised to see any travelers on the road with so many of Jane Cassinda's soldiers about. What brings you to this 
ill-omened place. We were sent by the Legion. We are heading south to reclaim the old chapter house in Stonebridge. The Legion? So the rumors are true. A gathering in the north. The rebirth of the old Legion. That's beside the point, though. I'm afraid you're stuck here with the rest of us. The western road has collapsed and we're surrounded on all sides by impassable swamp. What about those massive roots? We can walk across them like a road. Indeed, they'd support our weight, and my cannons and wagons too. But the roots are separated by stretches of water. In order to create a path, we'd have to raise the land between them. Impossible, you might say. But I have a man in my army with power over earth and stone. A scholar called Phineas. If only he were here. We need to find this scholar, Phineas. Where has he gone? He was among the first to be taken by the damned savages. They fell upon us not long after the battle, and they've been mounting raids and abducting our wounded ever since. First people. That's what the scholars call them. Only Az and I know as they call themselves. I thought of mounting an attack on their village to rescue Phineas and the others, but my surviving soldiers are too few and too young. If I had your help, though... Let's try talking to the first people before we do anything rash. Maybe they mistook you for a threat. A reasonable theory, but I've met their kind before. Scavengers preying upon the weak and the wounded. They won't negotiate unless you hold a sword to their throats. I'll gather whatever men I can, the ones who can still fight, and we'll meet you there.